being a DJ as a profession could be the greatest job fucking ever. Do you know what I mean? So, so it's not much to get really too stressed about. I mean, obviously, when the work stopped at the pandemic, it was a lot to get stressed about. But it was a thing of, I DJ for a living, man. I go, I, I've, I've travelled the world playing music to, to strangers. Mm -hmm. I fucking love it. Killer Keller official .com. <laughs> you need the Kellervision app. 24-7 mini documentaries, podcasts, live shows, DJ live streams, top five, subscription packages, plus products for all your podcasts and street culture sports. Download it from the App Store for free today. Popping. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Cat of Podcast live and direct central London or as central as you need to be. Trust me, you don't want to be anywhere else. Everyone's having a good day, whatever time, whenever you are watching and listening to this. Big shout out to graffitikings.co.uk, hold tight, strain station, not to mention everyone's got the Killer Keller Keller Vision app. Come on, come on, this ain't no tongue twister. You get on there and you get it. Download it free, iPhone, Android, that's what it is. It's mm. nothing long. Mm. <laughs> and now it's time for the interview to, to interview the interviewer. Yeah, yeah. It's about that time. I have a friend of mine that I've known for so, so long. For a long time, man. Uh, my brother, I mean, you're a busy man. Ladies and gentlemen, the legend, the myth, the man, the shorty blitz inside the house. Good evening, good evening, good evening. What's happening, brother? I'm good. How are you? Good? You? I'm yeah. good, man. You... Like, I'm alive and I'm, I'm, I'm you know... My first time on, on the pod. Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. kind of excited, bro. Me too, man. <laughs> yeah. There's plenty of people out there that, without question, know you from so many different like, walks of life and stuff. And it's the, right. thought of, the thought of trying to put your conversation down in one you know, 45 minute. This is going to be a tough one. Might be a bit tight. A lot of people know you from loads of different things, man. Like, yeah. as a DJ, you're so diverse and mm. your skill set's so broad. Yeah. Um, I don't know what to say to that, but. Yeah, I mean, I, I love music. Just have them flowers, hopefully, man. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, you know, it, it shows when, when, when people are in attendance that, that that I love what I do, and I hope you love it as much as I do. You know mm. what I mean? That's 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 what I aim for. Mm. You get me? With a level of such efficiency, like mm. you, you're on time, you're there. Every time I, I've done shows with you in the past, it's always yeah. felt like. You, you've got such a system in place and you know how to work your time. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think, you know, when you've been at it so long, you have your way of doing things. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so I think, I, I don't know. I, I've, I've never really actually thought about that. But yeah, I just, I just do... I'd get there and just do my job the way I do my job. Mm. I, I, I've got no deep dive of, of it. But I just know that when I get to get to work yeah. it's it's that's what it is you're there to do the job yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. definitely I'm, tr I'm trying to i'm trying to change the mood um in a room in a club setting in in, in a bar whatever wherever i'm playing trying to affect the mood for the better yeah eh? yeah there's a few people that i i would high, uh, hold you in high regard alongside mm -hmm. with with that kind of level of focus uh work ethic right people, you know the the Westwoods, do you know what I mean? Okay. It's it, the the two seven nines, the people. So the two seven nine. You know I'm saying Number, numbers. Come on, numbers. Come <laughs> numbers. On. We cannot do, we cannot go any further without bigging up some of the the original um, purveyors of, of. Shout out to the OGs for real. Do you know what I mean? It's like they they laid the blueprint for for us to mm. eat as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. And us to to participate in the culture. You know what I mean? So, mm. so yeah. Shout out to the OGs, man. You know shout out to the OGs. It it began a long it began a long time ago for you. And, uh, Way back when. Respectfully, <laughs> my guy is an OG. And if you ever come across Shorty Blitz in person or at a club or on TV, man, you're 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 missing a huge piece of historical referencing here. Originally from Nottingham. Yeah, you know? Nottingham City. Where where our style is legendary. That's the that's the tagline for all the hip hoppers out there. Shout out to Nuts as well. Big yeah, up. yeah, all tight Nuts. That's home. Yeah, Get me. absolutely. Um, tell me how that all kind of how did it come to this point here? 
from Nottingham, you were DJing? No, I was no. I was basically <laughs> just a, a hip hop fan, and th- I'm I'm gonna date myself now. So in the eighties, mm-hmm. when I was a kid, mm-hmm. um, got my paper round. That's when I started getting my own money, and I started to buy the medium which was out, which was vinyl. <clears throat> so I'm sure they had CDs then, but more common was 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 vinyl and tape. Mm. So I just amassed a lot of music over the years. And when I moved to London in 1990, um, I was still buying records and stuff like that. And then I kind of fell into the DJ thing. That was never my plan. Mm -hmm. I wanted to rap. Really? Uh, Yeah, but I was terrible. That's why I'm not rapping now. (laughs) Hold on. I was was terrible, bro. I was terrible. Really? Yeah. It wasn't for me at all. There there isn't, that isn't a natural thing going from uh, MCing to DJing, although mm. they're one and the same when you see it from a performance. Yeah, yeah. it's a very, it's like a it's drum, very different skill set. It's like a drummer suddenly becoming a guitarist. Real talk. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's it's weird because I, you know, I wanted to rap. Kane Kane was my favorite MC of all time. I just wanted to be just like him. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, you know the, the kings of that era, the, the LLs, the Rakims, mm. the G Raps, the KRS mm. Ones. Do you know what I mean? And obviously, like the, the London Pussy, Demon Boys, etc., mm-hmm. etc. Et and it's something that I wanted to do, but when you're a kid discovering and participating in hip hop in the culture mm-hmm. for the first time, the first time it came around, you tried to do everything. Tried to be a b boy, I was terrible. <laughs> I could dance. <laughs> you know I mean, don't get twisted. I could dance. I had rhythm, <laughs> but but the b boy shit, I wasn't really, you know, I wasn't that really that great. When it came to um, wanting to MC, you know, it just wasn't it wasn't right. Maybe I should have stuck at it, but no, nah, it weren't right for me. Me buying the records and stuff like that, it just I just kind of fell into mm-hmm. being a DJ because mm-hmm. you know I'm around the music, yeah. I know the music, yeah. I'm a fan of the music, so I wanted to present the music in a way that I feel that was funky, which I had to learn. Mm. Do you know what I mean, and with the with, yeah. with the when, when I got the Saturday job when I moved to London, um, I saved up enough money to buy one turntable. A few months later, another turntable, and then I had to wait. A few more months to get the mixer, and then I then start practicing. Wow! Do you know what I mean? So That's it wasn't what it a was. case of oh, here it is set up now, start going. You really yeah. had to I had to start from scratch because I didn't know what, what I was doing. Because oh. I, I wasn't a DJ naturally. I you know obviously mm. DJs in the family and just music lovers and all that, but I was never mm. DJing was not the plan. Mm. Yo, that's crazy because like I said, a lot of people just you know somehow attain the the gear. Mm. Um, but you had to do it staggered. Oh yeah, I had, to, I had to buy all my shit. Like yeah. none, none of it was stolen. It was it was one piece, one piece. Then wait for the mixer. It took a long time. It's a lot. It's a learning curve in itself. It's dedication. It's dedication. <laughs> I had to really love the shit. Yeah, 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 totally. <laughs> yeah, for real. Now and you know it's not it's not cheap. Mm. <laughs> That's the other thing. I think there's a couple of things that deter people from actually being the best they can be, and a lot of it is just patience. Yeah, they haven't got the time to wait. They haven't got the they haven't got the funds. They can't. It's quite an expensive hobby, isn't it? DJ? Very much so. And I think you know it's it's a lot easier now, even though you know the computers are are very expensive and, and stuff like that and all these other bits that you might need might be expensive. Mm. It's not as expensive as having to make sure you're on top of the music mm. every week. If you're playing out weekly, you've got to make sure you've got everything that you might need. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And more. Because obviously the, if you're on a bill with four other DJs, somebody's going to play the shit that's in your box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've got to make sure you pack according <laughs> you to might... your set time. You know what I mean? It's, it's a science. Yeah, yeah totally. You know what I mean? You might, thinking. you might as well leave MOP at home. Someone's yeah, yeah, gonna be someone's going to play. Someone's going to play. Like, someone's you know what I mean? <laughs> wow, well, yeah. And that old school thing I remember so well, these DJs, man, coming in with these boxes. Yeah, I mean, just like back-breaking, crippling yeah. business. Mashing up your knees. You know what I mean? you got like... You, you, it's, it's It was a workout. Yeah. Definitely like... I enjoyed it for the time it was, but I don't think I want to go back to Karen Records again. No. I think I've earned the Serato. Yeah, yeah, but but like everything on this creative journey, you've got to, 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 to a greater extent, experience mm-hmm. that kind of endurance, isn't it? Definitely. I mean, you, you, I mean, I don't know about today, but, you know, we had to pay dues. You know that already. Yeah. You did the same thing. You we, know what I mean? We, we were taught. Yeah, we did that. Day, like, me opening up, um, I remember every time I think of you, I remember um, <laughs> opening up on a Saturday at Deal Real, mm. and you guys were already there before me. <laughs> and I was like, oh, yeah. Oh. So shout out to 360 Physicals and all that, you know what I mean? So Day. I heard new music's coming as well. Yeah, we're working on it, baby. Dangerous, <laughs> dangerous times for, <laughs> for younger Kells coming back out and starting to rap again. That's a Hey, why not, man? Beautiful. If you can do it, do it. You, 
if what is it Bob Marley says if you can if you can dance you can if you can walk you can dance if you can talk you can sing. That's, I there you go. I mean, well, not for everybody, but yeah, <laughs> I get what you're saying. Salute to Father Bob. Hold <laughs> tight, hold tight. Um, so from this point on, then, so your career trajectory has been nothing but mm. consistent, and it didn't. It and like you say, you know, meeting up back in them days. You were in the record store yeah. working as as one of the main uh, proprietors. Well, not what well, I, I got hired by them. Like shout out to Tony Vegas, shout out to MK as well, who was part of that shop. Um, Peter Bond, Peter okay. the Pro, and and the whole family as well. Estelle used to work yeah, there. Yeah. Um, Sarah Love used to work there. Harry Love was always Harry. there. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like it was it was a great time. Like yeah. Deal Real One, even Deal Real Two. Like they they did their thing. They they took it to a next level. So mm. shout out to Vince and the whole crew, you know mm. what I mean? So yeah, for real, definitely. for real. Yeah, these were, for me, it's educational times. Yeah. Like being in a position where I'm meeting my heroes, like you, I'm meeting mm. you, and I'm like, I'm meeting, and they're just, it's, it's a hub. It, this yeah, shit was crazy. crazy. I mean, it's hard it's to put into fine detail what it was like um, with the record store culture, because it doesn't really exist in the same. No, not, not at all. I mean, you know, people are still buying vinyl. There's a big resurgence in the seven inches and all that. Mm -hmm. It's cool, it's great. But, um, you know, there was a sense of community because especially if you were willing to travel, because mm. obviously I was in I was in Brixton at those times, so mm. there was Red Records, mm -hmm. there was Solar Records in yeah. the tube station, shout out to Zed. Um, but then we go West End as well, then we we go to Unity, mm. we go, you know, we go to... Um, uh, the real obviously released the groove, which was my first rocker shop. There was Catch a Groove as well. Mm. Shout out to Destiny, shout out to Matt. Uh, Mr. Bongos as well. Yeah, Mr. Yeah. Bongos. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like Black there were so many records. Black yeah. Market. There was Wild Pitch. Yeah. There was um Crazy. What else? Who who have I missed out? They're good, they? They're gonna be lit. Yeah, they're gonna be pissed. <laughs> <laughs> no, there was loads, there was loads of shops, but there was I'm um, sorry, Uptown as well. So me that did yeah, clubs on a weekend as well, so I did hip hop and R and B and dance also. I had to make sure that I had a bit of everything. Mm. So I travel around and then you see big DJs like DJ Swing, you see Rest in Peace, Rest in peace Doctor yeah. Psycho, do you know what I mean? Rest and then you peace, go around yeah. all the hip hop shops as well, see like Scratch Perverts, you see mm. Scratch Pickles as well if you're lucky. Yeah. Um and For real. Yeah, we, we, we used to see each other all the time and it was a great it was a great time. I miss those times. Me too. I do because everybody's on their journey, they're catching flights yeah. and they're driving up and down motorways and all that kind of stuff. But yeah. you're not really connecting with many people. So I don't really see that many people. So when you when you hit me up, I was like yeah, I remember that guy. Yeah, really? I remember that. <laughs> yeah, Kelly, yeah. You've got a kind of vision of what he looks like. So it? It's true, though, isn't it? We don't it's see true. enough of each other. Yeah. And it's only when something... I mean, rest in peace, Skibbity. Yeah, rest in Skibba. Peace, rest in peace, Ty. It's only in these mm. moments where something tragic happens that we all get together. We all get together. It's sad, isn't it? Isn't it's it? very sad. But, you know, it's, it's real life at the end of the day because, obviously, some of us have grown older to, to have children and, and family settings and, and those mm. kind of things. So I think, you know... It's all part of the journey, mm. but you know it makes me cherish those earlier times even more because mm. obviously we're trying to you know keep them keep the kids fed, mortgage yeah, paid. Yeah. Back then it was just about let's get this hip hop shit in. Yeah, Do you yeah, know what I mean? Right. Yeah, yeah, just get the hip hop. Yeah, responsibilities. Um, again, just referring to your skill sets and mm. how fl flexible you are with your, you know, going on TV. Mm. You know, I've, I'm, I remember when we did a jam, it was a whole different kind of time for me. I think it was a ski, a snow bombing or something like that. You and me. Oh, we was, we was yeah. in um, Switzerland, right? Do you remember, yeah? Yes, way back. Yeah, way back. I'm, I miss those times, man, because I know there's snow bombing and all that kind of stuff now. And I'm, I'm not booked for that, for that, but I'm available. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean? You know what I mean? We're, we're yeah, we, 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 can, we, can, we can hype a crowd up. Yeah. This is what we do. This is what we trained in. This is what we know. Yeah, it's Ooh. all we know. It's all, and, and but you've managed to modify and do you, do you think the urgency of like having new response bigger responsibilities do, does that does that drive you on to, to different to do different things um it kind of does but um I, I really i try and enjoy everything that i do and you know oh. at, at being a dj as a profession could be the greatest job fucking ever do you know what i mean so so it's not much to get really too stressed about. I mean, obviously when the work stopped at the pandemic, it was a lot to get stressed about. But it was a thing of, I DJ for a living, man. I go, I, I've, I've traveled the world playing music mm. to, to strangers. Mm. Fucking love it. So it's just a thing where just, just keep it fresh as possible. Try not to, try not to get bored in the job. I, I always said to myself, if I stop enjoying it, that's when I stop DJing. Mm. Because, you know, I, even though the music 
the landscape right now is not really my cup of tea. I'm not going to say it's whack. It's not. It's serving purpose for everything. Mm -hmm. But I try and find what makes me tick. And I'm like, if you like that shit, then you're going to love this. Mm. So that's, I think that's my job as a DJ. And I think yes. that keeps it fresh for me. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do know what you mm. mean. There is a lot of good things out there at the moment. But I mm. know what you mean. You've almost got to be a conduit for... Big up Kish as well from Soho. Shout out to Kish. All day. From back in the day, yeah, Liberty yeah. Grooves and all that. You know what I mean? He's another one of the DJs that don't get enough flowers in the sense yeah. that, that he really does plug people into the new he stuff. He does. And there's so much stuff out there. It doesn't, yeah. it's not always, I mean, and like you say, it's not to everyone's cup of tea, the mumble rap thing or whatever mm. you, that you want to call it. It's whatever seat, you're into. Whatever you're into. You know what I mean? There's I mean? always somewhere else. Yeah. There's always something else that's unearthed because obviously, you know, with um, streaming and sometimes radio shows mm. that there's a lot of input from the major labels. Mm. So there's agendas there. Yes, we know there's agendas. Do you know what I mean? And it, and it is what it is. It's the business, right? Yeah. I've been doing radio for for a long time. I'm I'm lucky enough to do a radio show, which is where, where we put the music together. Mm. Shout out to MK. Shout out to hold Big tight, Ted before MK. that as well. Yeah, hold tight, so Big Ted. It's a thing where they just left us to do what we're doing because obviously we know what we're doing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They should trust us. We, we, we're in this music thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of the stuff that's 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 happening now, we we already seen that coming. Mm. We already know what's going to be next. Mm. We already know, so trust us. Got we, the forecast, isn't it? It's cycles, you know I mean? isn't it? it I is did, cycles, you're right, man. Like, and also, it's about timing, like we were talking before, because, you know, you're a busy, busy dude, and mm. we, 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 I've been waiting to get you on for ages, and, and <laughs> you, you were so patient with me, Sorry. too. It's been 18 months. He hit me up 18 months ago, <laughs> and I was like, yeah, we do it, but I, I definitely want to come on when I've got something to promote. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Just, just, just bear with me, please. Yeah, and, you killed it, man. He's been cool. Do you know yeah. what I mean? He's been very cool. <laughs> you know what I mean? Each yeah. every time. Yeah, oh, man, Not I me. swear to God. Uh, you know, for a lot of people, they, 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 like I said earlier, they, they'll do like 10 podcasts and, and duck out because it's yeah. too much or they've got, they haven't got the patience or time. Or it hasn't happened as quick as they wanted it to. Yeah, exactly. And that is just, a, that's, a, that's something we can all forecast. And mm -hmm. in, the, in the case of, Acts like Griselda, yes, where they've come through. They've had to be so patient. Yeah, definitely. They, you know they, I mean? Those guys were in their forties. Yeah, do you know what I mean? And and look at them now. I know. Look at them now, and it's all it is all about timing because I think you know there's a lot of waves that's happening, whether it's whether it's um, organically or mm. record company led. Yeah, those guys were, were patient. Mm. They were patient. They waited for their time. Look at them fly now. It's, be it's a beautiful thing to see. It it, it it gives us the feeling that we can do it too. I think it's it's a you know, for me, I'm in my forties, right? And it's it's a thing of I can't be the only one that's feeling this way, that's feeling mm. unfulfilled with what's being pushed out. I'm sure there's other spots and other other bits to find, other gems to mm. find. And look at that, like from Rock Marciano, mm. there's, there's all that kind of style. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? And there's other bits as well. Do you mm. know what I mean? Th there's stuff out there. Don't just rely on one outlet. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Because a lot of it is record company pushed, mm. which is cool. It's the business. But if you like music, go go find that, like how we used to go find it. Yeah. And that should be even easier than going into a record store these days. Definitely, you don't have to do none of that. It's all on. It's all on your phone. It's, like, it's so much easier. It's mad. <laughs> I remember going into Deal Real, and to me, because you mentioned you're in your forties, like, yeah. likewise with myself. And yeah, man. but at the same time, my brother, I honestly, I thought you were fuck you, MK, fucking Pete. You guys are like gods to me, man. Yeah. You'd be like up on the because you used to have the raised. Platform, yeah, because like, because back there it was it was very treacherous behind there. You've been yeah. you've been because underneath there was the office. I, I never went there. Oh, you never. It was like some sort of the yeah. Trap it, door it was crazy. I think special. I think it was it was quite dangerous because behind <laughs> the counter, like the floor, it was a trap door, and mm -hmm. there's a the whole office underneath. So if you, if you're pissed or or you're not watching what you're doing, you could really fuck yourself up. So it's yeah. yeah, so where they kept Tony because... after yeah, yeah. hours. <laughs> you're right, no Tony. <laughs> Tony, you're right, mate. You're right, Tony. <laughs> Honestly, it was that was, again. Just it was such a golden, golden era. And yeah. I remember seeing Mr. Sinister. Yeah. Um, spin there, and yeah. my head was just like, oh, Big girl was in there. Big, OC was in there. Yo, that was the. <laughs> you, you were there that day. Yeah, yeah, was yeah. there. And, and who else was there? Mad Mr. Skills. Mr. Len. Um, Mad Skills was there. Yeah, was Mad it? Skills yeah. was there. That, I remember. Oh, that I was there that day. Yeah. Um, Mr. Len. Uh, Coflo was there as well. Crazy. Look, man. 
Great times. Great bloody times. <sighs> Maceo from Daylab, my Ooh. big bro, he was there. Um, so many people passed through the shop. Rick Rubin passed through a couple of times. Yo, that's just too casual. Do you know that's what I mean? He came, through, he came through with beard and everything. He was like, yo, he wanted to find out what was going to be next in England. He gave me his number. And he's like, yo, just let me know whatever's coming out. Because like, 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 at that time, he heard about Dizzy Rascal and he was like, yo, I just need to know what's next. Da, 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 da. Wow. And yeah. Send him some, some good shit. Do you know what I'm saying? Call up Rick <laughs> Rubin. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, my Jerry God. Dammers from um, Specials, like absolute legend. Stop it. Like he was, he, he came in regular to buy hip hop. Like came for hip hop. Do you know what I mean? That's, you know what I mean? Didn't know that. <laughs> Revelations. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yo, <laughs> and then of course you do these physicals. Of, of course, hold tight. Of course, they, they were there most of the time. You know, yeah. they was there before me, before I opened the shop. They was like, oh, "What are you guys doing there?" <laughs> yeah, <I mean. laughs> um, just go back to the the, the record industry in the way mm. because you must be, you must do have a level of forecast, especially as a DJ right. on Kiss FM, mm-hmm. which you've been there a part of with with MK for a long time. But I know. So me and MK. Um, not to cut you, sorry. No, not at all. Jump, jump Don't do it. it. It's good. Like, it's good. Um, <laughs> so me and MK, I think we've been doing the show 12 years together now. Before that, um, me and Ted, we did it for like nine years, just shy of 10 years. Mm-hmm. And I was doing the mix for Max and Dave. Salute to the OGs. Oh, time, Max the reason why Dave, I'm on radio, yeah. salute to you. Hard Rock Soul Movement, like Big they're up. certified legends. I don't think yeah. they get spoke about. No, no, they don't get. You're absolutely right. They've been there from from ground zero, yeah. from from the eighties, early eighties. Crazy. Do you know what I mean? So salute up. to them at each and every time. Yeah. But um, yeah. So all in all, I've been on that station twenty seven years. <laughs> Mad. <laughs> twenty seven years, bro. I've, I've done bird on that station. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> and, and I see how much work you. I mean, I did. I think we may have brought this up with MK, but. For doing it so long, mm. and being on road, and being on the TV now, and keeping a level of r- repetition going on every time you're on the show, yeah. how do you do that and do the rest? Because it's quite a, it's quite pretty strict, isn't it? You radio, yeah, radio, you, right? Yeah, yeah. You got you got to make sure that, that everything's on time. You got to make sure you 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 you've got everything done. Your music's clean. You got to make sure that that everything's in place. But I think it's just a thing of that's all I've been doing. So it's just. Muscle memory, I guess. Really? Do you know what I mean? It's, it's not a thing like, oh, I've got to go do the radio show. No. It's just, okay, from Monday, looking for music. Mm. Tuesday, putting together a proper, you know, crate of music. Yeah. Wednesday, we're doing the show. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? Can and you pre-record it's, it's like it sometimes? Can you pre-record yeah. it? Yeah. So yeah, that's yeah. happened before? Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. Anytime, you know, you know, um, MK's been in Australia. I've been in Australia. I've done Australia loads of times, so I've had to do that. Mm. And... You know, when, when we've got gigs and stuff, that's that's pretty good. Mad. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's mad. And it, and again, just like very much like the record store, you've had insane <laughs> guests come yeah. around. It's beautiful. I've had I've had a beautiful life, man. It's it's I've I've been very blessed to be able to 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 sustain life by doing something in hip hop. Do you know what I mean? And that's yeah. all I wanted to do was just do something in hip hop culture. Didn't care what it was. Just so happens that I'm, I got pretty good at doing the DJ thing. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's great, man. Like, for me, I'm, I'm a happy guy. You know Always I mean? happy. As long as I can do my hip-hop shit, I'm cool. It's, it's infectious. It is infectious. You know I like I mean? to smile, I like to laugh. Yeah, you know yeah. Me? And <laughs> people love the shorty. Um, how much of the, when it comes to Kiss and the, the, the guests that come on, mm-hmm. the... the Records you choose because, like you say, Monday's your day for, yeah. you know, for R and D. R and D. R and D. But not today. <laughs> not today. <laughs> this is the real R and D right That's here. That's right. I come see the fam first. You know Come what on, mean? You know? Get me. <laughs> How much of a say does Kiss have on the things that you play? Because you've been there for so long. It, yeah. It, well, you basically, got full rain. Yeah, but basically, we play just they, all, all. It needs to be is clean. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? I think they trust us enough to know that. We're going to, obviously, we're going to do a kind of, well, look, I think our show on mainstream radio is probably the only hip hop show. It's true. A lot of shows are rap shows, which is cool. Mm. So what I like to do, though, I like to do a whole look at what's going on mm. musically. So it's gonna you're going to get 
couple drill joints. Mm-hmm. You're going to get a couple trap joints. Mm-hmm. You're going to get some boom bap, definitely. Mm-hmm. You're going to get some soulful, mm-hmm. definitely. You're going to get some funny shit, definitely, as mm-hmm. well. I think it's it's important as a DJ to show exactly what's going on mm-hmm. rather than, you know, this label sent me this and that label sent me that, so I'm just going to play this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's not really doing your job, yeah. in my opinion. It's true. Do you know what I mean? I think it's important to show what's going on out there. Some, some shit that you that you've heard or an artist that you've heard and then somebody you've never heard before mm, mm. that you might love in future. Yeah. You've done that many times and we will continue to do that. Yeah, I, and I love that about your show is, mm. is that you, there is a variety, you're giving, you're, you're giving a, a snapshot of what's, a, a what's true, going on a true right honest now. snapshot. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And some of the stuff you, you might not like, cool, but it's happening. Mm. And so we, we, we've, we've got to show that duty mm. because we're trying to show, have a balanced kind of mm. show. Mm. So sorry, my, my stomach's rumbling. I do eat that today. It's, it's hip hop from the soul. <laughs> it's from the soul. <laughs> my, my belly agrees. <laughs> you know, like, I, like the, I hope you picked it up on the mic. I hope, I hope not, because that sounded loud, bro. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Boy, <laughs> man's hungry. We'll get some food in a minute. Um, and and again, big up MK because that you guys as a, a dynamic. We have it's, fun, man. Yeah, and it's a, it's a snapshot of hip hop. Yeah, and. Like you said, there's not many other people out there really doing that. I mean, you know, I don't really listen to many shows because I don't want to get coloured by what they're doing. Yeah, yeah. We're on our own shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Respect to all of them because I know these days if you're doing that kind of thing, mm-hmm. you must love it. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? So respect to all DJs out there that, that, that's bumping the hip-hop shit, mm-hmm. that's bumping the rap shit. Mm-hmm. We get fight down all the time, mm-hmm. but let's just enjoy the thing, innit? Let's yeah. just... Oh, big up Semtex as well. That's Shout out to Sam. We You've got a new joint out as well, right? Yeah, yeah man. Shout out yeah. to Sam. And a lot of people don't realise that your path in music, I remember... Yeah, we crossed paths. It's like, yeah, man. You know... What was the joint you did with um, Ty? That, then, oh, you guys did an EP, I think it was, wasn't it, back in the day? Blue, oh, yeah. Blue Car. Um, yeah, What's I it? Am A Don EP. So Lovely. basically, we, we were a group... Salute to TY, Big mm. Bro, Rest In Peace. Mm, rest that in still peace. sounds funny saying that shit, but, you know... Salute to him each and every time. Yeah, so we had um, we were we uh, were a group. So Ty and Shorty Blitz loved it. <laughs> we're taking it back to Eric B and Rakim. Mm-hmm. We're taking it back to Jazzy Jeff and Fresh Prince and all that kind of mm-hmm. stuff. So we had um, an EP called I'm a Don. I had four joints on there. Shout out to Solaheen, aka Def G from um, just for, oh, from Lords of Rap. Yeah, like, Woof. tight. See, yeah, I mean my my, my, my bass was there. Yeah, I mean. But um, so he did um all the music on there, but. Mm-hmm. Ty would bring ideas. I was just the DJ at the mm-hmm. time, just trying to work out what I want to do in this thing. I loved the dynamic on that. Do you know what I, mean? I remember that, buying it. I remember buying it, and I was just that was just me, man. <laughs> I'd never heard anyone like Ty. That's the thing, and I don't not, think there was anybody like him before. You know, there, there won't, there hasn't been, there won't be. I, he, mm. he had such a a certain. It, it, he was he was stubborn as fuck. That's what it was. <laughs> He's gonna do it his way, regardless whether you liked it or not, and. <laughs> You know what I mean? He, he he got a cult following from what he started. And, I, you know, I, I've i said this uh, um, many times before. I think if there was no tie, there'd probably be no sway. Oh, that. Do you know um, what I'm saying? I'm with you. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I think, that, you know, yeah. I could be wrong, but this is what I think. I, I think mm. with his freedom and his staunch Nigerianness, mm-hmm. I know that's not a word, but, you know, I think... It, he just wanted to do things his way. The way he was brought up, that obviously affected the way that he, his his worldview and, and mm. the way that he wrote rhymes and the way that he performed because mm. he was just a different mm-hmm. dude. Do you know what I mean? And he was fine being that different dude. He was fine being awkward. Mm. Do you know what I mean? He was fine just, just doing it the way he wants to do mm. it. And I think that's valuable because these days, there's many clones. Yeah. There's That's many right. clones. Yeah, thousand, thousand percent. And I always valued his honesty. Some, sometimes he was honest, even even if he, even if he was wrong. Yeah, yeah, be, yeah. He, This is what I think. What he thinks. And that's it. Sometimes you'd walk away going, "Did he really just say that to me?" <laughs> but then, but then you love him, and then I'm like, "He's told me some shit," and I'm like, "He did that yeah. to me many times." Yeah. Like, right. maybe, maybe, maybe I'm not good enough there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Let me go try harder. But he did. He, but one thing he always did, especially for me, anyway. Mm. He was such a supporter, mm. and he'd tell you when you were doing great, or he'd, you know, Definitely. what I mean, he he called, a spade was a spade, but he would yeah. call it right. And and that's that's the thing, you know, um, <clears throat> we wasn't as close 
for the last few years before he, before he passed. But we were obviously thinking certain shit about each other in our own corners. Like, but obviously it wasn't that. Mm. So I went to go see him. Within an hour, we we were back to tying shorty from, from the nineties because it was all bullshit. And every time we saw each other, it was a, a hug. Mm. How's family? Everybody cool? And then we keep it moving. Mm. It wasn't like anything deeper than that. Mm. But we we all if if he was in a fight and I was walking, I'm jumping in. Yeah, 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 and yeah. likewise, yeah, 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 he's yeah, done yeah. things for me and my missus. Yeah. Like he'll go in mm. seven foot dude. You know, uh, like how you talking to my, you know what I mean? Right. He, he would do right. shit like that. Right. From from when I met him, mm. I've been under his wing until he passed. So I I, I can never forget this dude. Mm -hmm. I can never forget yeah, this yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? That's it's, big bro for real. That's that's real talk. Big bro for real. That's, yeah, yeah, real real talk. You know what I mean? And yeah, and I guess that for me was like uh, for a lot of other people that was an introductory into you as the artist. Now you are you're getting into some new <laughs> music st stuff right now. It's crazy. Crazy. It's crazy because. As well, for me, I'm very quiet and very shy. You, you'd never know it. But he gave me the confidence to do that shit. Mm. When we were um, promoting the I Am A Don EP, mm. we went on the road. We was in Amsterdam. We was in, we was in Germany. We was all over the place. Mm -hmm. Gave me a mic. And he's like, so today, you're going to rap I Am A Don. I'm like, what do you mean? That's incredible. <laughs> what do you mean? Really? Yeah, today it's on you. Because he, he wanted to give me the confidence to know that I could do that shit. I was a DJ, just head down. I was all about the music. I wasn't, wasn't using the mic. <laughs> I had to learn to do that. And that was because of him. Wow. So I can travel the world and talk to anybody now. Yo, what's good? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It was instilled in me. I trained in this. Oh. It's crazy. That is crazy. It's crazy. But as you were saying, so wow. me doing that, Last time I saw him, I was like, I'm working on something. I need to do a tribute to Dr. Psycho, DJ mm. Swing, and my people that passed as well. Mm. You remember um, ESP and them. So, mm -hmm. And he was like, yeah, cool. Left in the beat. He was right into it. But unfortunately, he got ill. Mm -hmm. So didn't get to, didn't get to happen, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Mm -hmm. But he's still there, man. Mm -hmm. he's, he's in the heart. You mm -hmm. get me? Mm -hmm. it's, it's, yeah. it's, it, that's big bro. Yeah. Rest in peace. Tom. But I've got some new music coming out, though. Yeah, that's happening. It's, it's happening. happening. It's, Bam, happening. it's happening. It's happening. How's it feel to be uh, in, in back in the pocket? In the, in, it's in the strange. Studio? It's strange because it's been like 20, 20 years, 20-something 20 years. Mm -hmm. Because when we started doing the I Am A Done stuff, that got released. And then that's when he met De La Soul. Right. So he was he was on the road with them. Yeah. And then Maceo took a, a, a strong liking to him. Mm -hmm. And he was like, whatever you're doing, I want to be part of it. So we signed to Bear Mountain, his label. Wow. So worked on music together, mm. me, him, Solaheen. Um, but unfortunately, the, the deal fell through. Right. So at that time, I was getting a bit more. Um, I was getting a bit more bookings. I was. Mm -hmm. I started to be successful mm -hmm. on the club shit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you know, we we decided. Okay, we've got this stuff here. We'll come back mm -hmm. at some point. Yeah. But I think he needed to release music. So that's when Awkward came out. Mm -hmm. He did all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And he, he gave you five albums and a few EPs. Crazy, yeah. You know what I mean? He left a brilliant legacy. Yeah. Glad I didn't hold up nothing. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. It, let, pro, proper, proper real talk here about Ty, man. Mm. Like, and, it, and you really are first hand, first hand. Yeah, experience. man, because that's, that was my guy. That was the first person I ever DJed for properly. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Because I did DJ for Scientists of Sound before that. But, big up Scientists of Sound. Salute to the big bros there as well. You, you know what I mean? And locals to this area. Yes, definitely. That's, that's how so, I kind of know this yeah. area. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> rest in peace to Chirac. Mm, yes, rest in peace. Salute to you. Man, too many heroes. Too, too many, many heroes. Too, too many are leaving. Yeah. I mean, crazy. Um, but you're experiencing this kind of like new wave of interest, I, f I find, with the TV, yeah. uh, the TV side of what you're mm. doing and the exposure that that's bringing. And you're really holding the flag for hip hop on, on, a, on a show that. Wow. That, okay. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> on, a, on, a okay. on a station and a show yeah. that, that, that almost needs. That cosign. Um, I, I don't even think it's even a cosign. I just want to just. I just want to represent it correctly. Mm -hmm. I've always wanted to. I didn't want to. Obviously, I like fun and games and jokes and all that shit. But when it comes to repping the culture, 
I'm very serious about it. Mm. I have to be serious about it because I don't want it to... On my watch, I don't want it to be fucked up. Talk that shit. I don't want it to be fucked yeah. up. I don't want it to be... Yeah, yeah. Because when Shorty was on TV, that's when they was doing that. Nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah, nah. yeah. It's, it's, none of that's happening when I'm around. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So I'm here to rep. I've enjoyed this thing. It's, it's taken me mm. all over the world. It's looked after me because I love it so much. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Preserve it. Preserve it in all its forms and all its mediums. Yes, sir. Um, I'll be honest with you, I don't think I've ever watched the not an entire episode. I yeah, my stomach. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's rolling. It's rolling. We can get some food in a minute, bro. Yeah. I've, I've tuned in and tuned out every so often watching yeah. it. See, you know, you're shorty, in, shorty there, shorty there, you know what I mean? And, I'm always there. And there are elements of it that I actually do find it entertaining. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 like you say, it's not to everyone, but it's, it's... It's for a new generation. Yeah, it's a new generation. It's for, it's for, it's for probably for... Um, for people that love hip hop, mm. but people are probably curious about hip hop or probably think that it's just one way. Mm. It, oh, it's just about stabbing. No, it's not. Mm. It's not all about that at all. There's there's so many different assets, um, facets to it. There's so many different pillars that yeah. we have to represent, and we try and do that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And because I'm there, I'm like, yeah, we need to do that. Because um, one of the seasons we had um, Melly Mel mm-hmm. and, yes. and the Sugar Hill Gang as well, which, crazy. which which was crazy. And I, I had to tell the people that look. The reason why you probably love hip hop, the reason why you love certain artists is because these guys, we're standing on the shoulders of them. <laughs> we're standing on their shoulders. <laughs> and I, I, and you need to understand, like, Melly Mel changed the MC game when he touched the game. Mm-hmm. So... For real, for real. Like, And to be able to speak that in, in that way to a younger audience as well, and, yeah. the, and your co-pilots that are doing the show yeah. as well, that must be quite... Liberating, Mike. Yeah, because you know, I'm, I'm not really a, um, a, uh, what do you call it, a person that likes to argue, but I will argue mm. facts to the death. Mm. Like, <laughs> mm. I, I'm not with the bullshit where it comes to like making it look foolish and and buffoonery. I'm nah. Mm-hmm. It has to be. You know I mean? right. Do you think? Do you think um, the, the, the generation that it is it, that the show appeals to? Do you think? They're misunderstood. I feel like they're misunderstood in many ways. I yeah, think, of course. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, you know, they love what they love and they love what they've been presented mm. so far. Mm. But, you know, th- they just need to understand and hopefully they're, they're interested to find out a bit more if they loved it that much. When we when we got into hip hop, I'm sure the same for you, I wanted to learn everything about it. I wanted it. I wanted, wanted to know, all, it, all of it. I wanted it all. Yeah, yeah. Totally. The, the amount of videotapes I still have, the amount of <laughs> the amount of magazines I still have, the amount of cassette tapes I still have because totally. I want to be across the whole thing. I'm, yeah. I'm, it's exciting to me, and it's it's something that's that's you know I'm, millions of billions of people can't be that wrong because it's made so much money. Even the people that that that, that birthed this are not getting paid for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you know, it's made so much money. It, it can't be. It can't be that bad, can it? Mm, exactly. Because it's the, it's the front runner for everything. It's in everything. Still, even to this day, the, the lineage and the the way it's consumed, it it, it moves with the ebbs and flows Definitely, of how we how, how how we like to listen and watch things. It's, it's crazy, crazy, isn't it? It's crazy, bro. <laughs> Does it ever get tiring for you? Um, I don't know. Nah, I don't think I don't think it does. Again, you know, it's like muscle memory, like I said before. Um, I think it's a thing of. I just really love this thing. There'll be times where I don't want to hit, listen to music. There's, there's times I just want to just chill. I just mm. want to lie down and all that. But that's that's cool. You know, when I'm back into it again, it's it's, it's the music that, that that drives me. Mm. It's the culture that drives me. Mm-hmm. Favorite artists look out for right now. Right now, yeah. um, look out for Coops. Look mm. out for um, Jay Littles from Nottingham. Uh, um, oh, there's so many, and there's gonna be people that's gonna be pissed. Um, <laughs> Mazzatello, there's 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 loads, there's loads of people. Um, Shorty Blitz has got some good music come out as well. Come on, you know son, <laughs> come on. Yeah, I got EP coming out. Um, Get it? I don't. So this is coming out tomorrow, right? Yeah. Okay, so at the 27th of May, my EP called um, First Step is out. There's two singles out right now. Um, the first one, which came out on. April, sorry, um, March the 4th. Mm. That was called um, Steel Sharp and Steel featuring Mice Diggy. Big up. And and, and uh, can I just, uh, right, so Mice Diggy and yeah. you, I first saw you guys perform together uh, <laughs> at um, in Reading. 
Um, oh wow! That for me was like a huge turning point. Man, like mice. I I think he needs his flowers as well. For real. I think when it comes to wordplay, just just vibes. Yeah. You know what I mean? He he he's a different dude. He's mm. up there. He can rhyme his ass off. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's, yeah. he's He's one of the world's finest in my eyes, and that's not just because he's my boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's I think true. he's so dope. For the first time I heard him, I was the first time I heard him, I met him through DJ Bluefoot, who's my bro as that's well. It. Big up Bluefoot. I mean? Yep. So they they put out the the first single called um, "Put the Word Out," um, and that was around Deal Real as well. That's when I first met him. So I met him the same time as I met you, and um, from then we just we just got tight. Mm. Used to every time I used to travel out of town, yo mice, yo blue, let's go. Yeah, you know I mean, sick. we just just travel yeah. and just 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 catch a joke, mm. and you know he's just a fierce MC, um, and I think that he needs more light. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. he came up as well. I don't know if you know. No, I'm not going to tell his story. He, he, have you had him on it no, already? Come on, we we'll get we we'll get him on. We'll right, yeah, him let on. him tell his story from, from from where his MC roots start from. Mm. It's probably not what you think. Do you know what I mean? And he's he's such an ill MC. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Sus Bully's on there as well, and there's going to be a remix coming real soon. I secured the feature, but I can't tell you what it is. Oh, shit. Do you <laughs> I hear secured the, I secured the feature. Yo. The feature is going to be a big feature still. You little tease. <laughs> you little tease. <laughs> How very dare what, you. You yeah, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> but he said secure. So this sounds like it's a proper Yeah, it's proper, proper feature. It's, it's a proper feature. Like, if you, think of one of the illest MCs ever. I'm, I'm going to leave it there. Stop it. Yeah. Right? Yo, it can only be... A, one of the there's, three there's, of my fingers. There's, 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 there's a handful, you know yeah. what I mean? But, you know, yeah. Wow. Yeah, so so Still Sharp and Still Part 2 is coming real soon. I've got um, another joint, um, which is the next single. Sorry, sorry, let me go back. So that was Still Sharp and Still. Mm-hmm. Um, two weeks ago, I released my second single called Excellence, featuring Wavy Boy Smith and um, JD Era from Toronto. Wavy Boy Smith used wow. to be called Biggs. He was part of the alliance. He's the Flygerian, like he's one of Sway's people. Yeah, I remember it, it, Biggs was awesome. Yeah, I used man. to write him he's so still, much. still rhyming, man. Like he's doing a lot of stuff with Turkish. Yo. They've got this um they've got this group called the Jooks. Like proper. Wonderful. Like the the, the two projects that they've done. Yeah, I'm look say, for that. Yes, dial, Jux. dial in, people. That's yeah. a, that's like, a, tap in for real. Yeah. That's you know a, I mean? that's a connect right there. So the third single is um called Beast. So it's got Tony Rotten from Black Twang, Corey Guns from the Bronx. <laughs> it's got uh, Going John on. Connor from Michigan, and it's got Joel Ortiz from Brooklyn. It's called Beast. There's there's no hook. It's nothing pretty. It's bars and beats, right? The last song from the EP when the EP comes out on the twenty seventh of May, um, it's called Truth. It's got Rio Young, newcomer. Mm. Very dope MC. It's got Terry Walker. Hold tight, Terry. <laughs> and Odyssey. So mm-hmm. I'm just trying to put out stuff that that I would like to hear myself. I'm not I'm not dissing anybody else how they do their thing. I'm not dissing any style of music, but I'm doing me. I'm, I'm I want my place in history, bro. Yeah, you know what I mean. As if I'm you tra- ain't. I'm, tra- I'm, tra- I'm, tra- I'm, tra- I'm trying to work. I'm trying to work on some things. You know what I <laughs> mean. Some stuff that I can be proud of. So. Yeah, and stuff. You know I mean? Yeah, and it, we're certainly of, of an age now mm. where. You, you, why would you put something out for the sake of it? Yeah, no, it's, it's you know, I should have done this 15 years ago, to be fair, mm. but timing is everything. And I think, you know, hopefully it will make, not even an impact. I just want my shit out there. This is this is my expression. Mm. I think I've got my right to have my expression. Hell yes, you do. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, um, I, I, I realise I say, you know what I mean, a lot. So I'm, I, I apologise. You know what I mean? You should have a now mean counter, innit? You know what I mean? <laughs> if, yeah, yeah, comment below. And guess how many you said it. Yeah, and guess. Then, <laughs> guess how many. Yeah. And, when, and when, you, <laughs> when you serve a copy of the album. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do that for you. <laughs> um, wow, the future is certainly bright, my brother. And yeah. honestly... It's been a pleasure having you on. It's been a pleasure to be here, man. It's been yeah. a long time coming, man. You you invited me into your house, and I, I'm, I'm comfortable, bro. Yeah, man. That's right. That's right. We aim to please on the Killer Killer podcast. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Shorty Blitz in the house. <laughs> Hold tight. All the regulation order is sharing, is caring, all right? Definitely. It Where? Costs you, it costs you nothing. Yes. Share it. Exactly. Share it. Show the love. Spread that love around. You know what I'm saying? Peace. So, yeah. 
without further ado, you stay out of trouble, don't speak to anyone, I wouldn't. Be lucky, people. Peace. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> Wicked. That was quick, man.